throw your arm back. So that's what drag is. So the higher your speed is, the more drag you're going to increase. So, um, and then the other forces are going to be lift. So obviously lift is the counteracting force to your weight. So in order to be able to lift up off the ground or go higher, you have to have a greater force up and a greater force down. And vice versa, if you want to go down, you make it so your lift is less, so you um, go down towards the ground. And the last one is thrust. Thrust is the opposing force to drag. It's pretty self-explanatory. Same thing as the lift. If you want to go faster, your force forward has to be greater than the force of drag. Vice versa, if you slow down, want to slow down, you make the force forward be a little bit less. So the, coming into the third topic, how do we what you're doing. You're just vectoring this force of lift in another direction. 
service would actually make a helicopter rest. So, um, I appreciate your time, and I hope that you come away with a little more understanding, and if you ever have any more questions that you would like to ask me later on, I would be more than happy to actually go more in detail. We can actually cover a lot more of the specifics of what's really going on um, with the operation of a helicopter. So, thank you for your time. And